Some time ago, it's got to be three and a half, nearly four years now, I decided to sell up, stop work, give it all up, and then take the big plunge to buy a narrowboat and live on the on the canal system. Why don't you watch me? Why don't you come along and uh, we subscribe and like? You know, that helps as well. All the algorithms and all that, eh? Come on. I've got this uh, non-return valve, so it lets air in, doesn't let fuel out, so you can't have any fires. This is what you're talking about, Jeff. So I've uh, fitted that now onto the system. Mm. You beauty rippers. Slowly evolving. And here we are, I've made it. The lock's open, so I go straight in. Fantastic. Around that corner there, and I'm going to moor up. That mooring is just a mooring just there. Very, very windy, but it's beautiful. Beautiful day. It's a dry day, got washing to dry. just had a long chat with the guy outside he got his maps out I, was, I thought about coming down here and going down this is no 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 don't that is very very dangerous he says I wouldn't he's a seaman he said he wouldn't do that in an airboat so I can't do that my original plan was to do that um, this one is a no-go because the swing bridge is out for the next six ten weeks get to Barnby he said and then turn around and go back back down here to Thorn back down here to th and go through that way and go up that way to Ghoul and that's turn around again because Ghoul he said uh, this river is very dangerous so I'll come back down here again and cross that way to Thorn and then kid being come down that way so all this area here can't go up to there because there's one of the locks is closed. Um, moorings there is told me. So York is beautiful and stunning, but it's very very busy area, very noisy and busy. Uh, this section here is a no go because it's very rarely used. It's covered in weed, just not navigable. He said, so it's a no go there this bit's quite nice except it's only very 48 hour moorings um i have to watch the tides the tides are on here are quite dangerous as the, the flow of the water is incredible uh, on the ooze so yeah anyway there we are rippers me down that path there along them sheep and I'm not sure about this now oh dear what do I do steering it with lot oh no I'm gonna call me names when I walk past I'm going to go walking down there or not you know because they're lambing and stuff they might get a bit aggressive isn't it? Could be washing out a lot, eh? Come on. Mmm, 
Selby Canal is a tranquil and very beautiful route into Selby, passing under four particularly fine listed stone bridges. Visitors enjoy boating, walking, cycling, angling, simply relaxing. You can see plenty of wildlife, including the graceful mute swan. That swan over there is not mute. It keeps tapping on the window for food. And the kingfisher, with its distinctive plumage, beautiful kingfishers. In the summer flowers such as meadowsweet, willow herb and knapweed, and to the enjoyment. Knapweed? That's not enjoyable for a boater. Selby Abbey, Lord, where's Selby? Where are we? Where are we now? Then we're the start here. We're here, aren't we? Must be. So we're travelling up here. All the way along there, look. Brighton Bridge. Brayton Bridge. The Selby City itself, look. Ooh, that'd be interesting to see that, wouldn't it? Selby Boat Centre. Useful information, so look at this. In the centre town, known as one of the England's finest parish churches, stands the magnificent Selby Abbey. Ooh, if you can see that. Founded by the monk Benedict of Auxerre, France, since 1069. No, no, don't go there. The main building work took place between 11 and 12.30. Was that an hour and a half to build that? Oh my God, it's for the number. That's how quick you are. Wow. Permanent 48 hour moorings and the custom facility building are available at Selby Canal Basin. What was a basin? Please contact British Waterways North Yorkshire Navigation. They've got the numbers there, which is handy. Anglin, Selby Horseshoers. Wow, isn't that lovely? They've got all beautiful willow trees. They are big ones up there, not beautiful down there. Look, got the lovely willow trees. Very, very few people. When I come down here to read that, two people turned up. How typical, isn't it? You haven't seen them for hours. Selfish, some people. Don't know what this is all about. There's a weird section here. Mmm, chap over there playing golf. He's got golf in his own garden. Wow. Unbelievable. Don't know what it's all about, this bit. It must be a feeding trough or something. Watering for. Cattle, maybe. I don't know. Look at this beautiful English countryside. Don't you just love it? The sun's out and the sun is warm, but the wind is nippy. Got my jacket on, you know? My hat. Isn't that just a beautiful? In the distance, you see the purple and the yellows. Just sight. Oh, what a beautiful. Godlike, isn't it? Like a, like a person that lives in the country, don't I? Hello. Oh, with his check shirt and his jacket on. He's got his, got his hat on, not he? Eh? Like a person of the country. And it's cold. I can't put my shirt on. I have to go back with my jacket. That wind's biting. Gorgeousness. And all you hear is me going, ah, loads of rustling and snapping branches. Yeah, that's good for filming that, innit? You'd like that, wouldn't you? You lot, eh? Selfish. I like that, it's got an automatic sort of draining clearish, clearing fork arm thing. It's cleared all that lot, eh? It's handy, in it? When this floods, I'm going to do a made dust flood. I'm thinking I can go down here across that field back to the boat hopefully. Let's find out shall we. This is interesting. I hope it takes me back to the boat. I think I'll come back again. Very quiet. 
bit dark here, yeah, I'm whispering. What's that say? A public footpath. Oh, that way. It must be. There we go. I'm hoping this path takes me back to civilization. days oh it's lovely weather lovely spot right next to the right next to that uh, open lock beautiful I had a lovely walk yesterday today I'm going up with that guy there he's going to lift back to my van um, which is a trek to get to by bus, it's walk, bus, walk, train, walk, bus, walk to get to my van. So he's going to give me a lift back tomorrow, I think. So we're going to cruise together to Selby today and then we're going to give me a lift back, Rippers. Hey, eh? fantastic, gorgeous place. Walked out here last night, it was so quiet. Looking at the stars, oh, I love it. When Kev's ready. He's off in his little, got a Ford Anglia engine in it. Oh, oh dear. Not going very far yet. He's off again. Right. There we are. Oh, oh, oh. where are you going? Back in, swim out a bit. Jump on that. Remember that little walk we had? This is the, uh, this is the first historical bridge, I think. <clears throat> Sandstones all wearing into these odd shapes lot the wind and the rain it's not a very sustaining stone to use sandstone is it it's because it's made of sand basically isn't it compressed sand a little sign there cruising again on this beautiful day it is wondrous the chap in the chap in front his name is kevin He's an electrical engineer, so I've been picking his brains about my battery setup and things like that. Shouldn't really be mixing wets and gels, but well, whatever in it. Um, he's got a lovely little dog called Ruby. Beautiful she is. She's a pit bull, but pit bulls are got a beautiful temperament if they're in the right hands, you know, and the right owners. She's lovely. I'll try and get to film her for you. You've got a beautiful smell from this. Is it is it mustard or is it rapeseed oil? It's a horrible name that, isn't it? Rapeseed. <coughs> um, beautiful smell from it. Smiling from ear to ear from because it's spring and it's summer and it's all those things that you look forward to. And it gets too hot. You go, and this is hot. And you can help boats like a oven. No, no, no. Shut up from my boat, we're only cruising at normal cruising speed, it must be very very shallow, what worries me is we've got nesting birds and he disturbed their nest you know with a wake, I hope I don't, you know. So you've got nesting swans in my wake, will disturb their nest if not careful. Father and his missus. Lots of lovely smells in the air. Water and new growth and lovely. Farmers fields and all that. I don't know. On my walk yesterday, if you do more down there, I turn left here and there's a little, little tiny bridge you go over and you, and you go to the farmers fields then walk back to the boat. It's a nice it's a nice round walk, you know. I'd rather have a round walk than walking to and fro, or there and back, much nicer. 
This is Paper House Bridge and it's uh, another historical bridge I think. Gaps in that stone lot. Mm. Another historical one I think. He's gone way ahead. His tick over is about four mile an hour. I'm going at four mile an hour at 1400 RPM, you know. I'm doing 1200 now, so he's, he's way ahead. It's a very nice canal, it's, it's more like a river than a canal. Uh, doing about five miles, which is five miles, two, about two and a half hours maybe. Two and a half hours, five miles. Yeah, that's what it's like on a narrowboat. Walking pace. There's quite a few of these and I don't know what they're about. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what they're about, these things. Do you think they're feeding? For the, for the fields or whatever. I don't know. Comment below. That's a great little mooring there, isn't it? Loads and loads of firewood if you need it. Wow. If you want to be on your own, peace and quiet, that's the mooring for you. East Coast Mainline Rail Bridge. This is Burn in Selby. Here we are now, Burn Selby. I don't mean going Burn Selby. I mean this is a place called Burn. Burton Hall, Burton Hall Bridge, oh, must be a, a hall around here then, very nice. Got the rollers lot, you know, all the years of horse drawn rollering along there. Oh, I'm aching, oh my chest's aching because I was doing some dips yesterday, dips and sit ups and all that kind of stuff, you know, trying to keep this beautiful body in, in shape, you know. <laughs> yeah, really, it's like a hunchback 60 year old. God, I'm not in shape anymore. <laughs> Lord, it. I want to pull over somewhere and uh, try and pull over and do a bit of washing, then carry on, you know, to get the hot water for later for a shower, you know. Oh, I do shower every day, mostly. If possible. Now and again. Wow, there's some boats there. Looks like some visitor moorings. Mm -hmm. Very nice. There's a road. Rippers. There's a spare spot I'm going on it, do some washing. Stop there for a minute and got the washing on. Mm, why not? Hey? Why not rippers? There's a nice car park here as well, which is one of the key elements of narrow boating if you've got a car. Parking and all that, uh, good morning, deep enough, blah blah blah. Beautiful crew, I'm loving it. This reminds me of the uh, the Chesterfield Canal, which I did, which I did last year, didn't I? I got stuck in there. I've now realised that that canal, they're finishing that canal as the start of my, because my narrowboat is three inch wider than most narrowboats. Whether I take it off, whether I take it, the anodes off or not, it's still going to get stuck. You see, still a worry for it. So. These fields of yak, I can smell it in the air, is this beautiful uh, perfume smeller from these fields over here. Beautiful rapeseed oil smell, wow, it's amazing. Nice towpath down here, that chap's on a race, do you mate, on a race? Come on then, let's race. He's got an apron, I don't know what he's doing, he's probably some sort of official of some kind. I just like to just walk him with an apron on, who knows, you know, if this is a cook, chef, whatever. Kevin in front, he's gone way ahead. He's on tick over, he's just four mile an hour on tick over. I just can't keep up with him, so he's just he's gone way ahead. I'll probably catch up with him. I'm gonna walk back with him anyway, so hopefully 
Uh, I'll film him, get to see him. Good old Kev, his little dog Ruby, beautiful. Looks like some kind of old railway crossing here, look. Can you imagine, can you imagine in the day when they built that, <clears throat> got the lad with his hobnail boots walking down to the uh, railway bridge and the bloke in the, in the village going, where are you going with that paint lad? I'm going to write my name on the bridge just to tell everyone in the area that this bridge is in my area and it belongs to me. <clears throat> what the bloke would have done, he took his leather belt off and thrashed the living daylights out of him, sent him home crying to his mum and his mum would have beat him up and his dad would have beat him up later on. That's where we've gone wrong now with his tin of paint, he probably threw it at him. Go on you bloody idiot, writing your name on there. Yes but I'm tagging, I'm tagging and telling people that not to come in this area because it's my... Go on, get out of me you bloody thing, get down that coal mine. <laughs> like all the volunteers are doing the uh, painting the fence law, that's nice isn't it? Bless them. I think there's CRT volunteers doing the fence there. Thanks ever so much to the volunteers. You know, on the locks and everywhere you go, there's volunteers. It's wonderful people. Just want to do something for somebody else. Isn't that a lovely thing to do? I suppose you could moor here if you wanted to. Um, but you've got the motorway above you. William Jessup Bridge. Boat coming, bloody hell, first boat. I'll see you in about three hours. Wow. There's more parking round here. This is mm, something bridge. Skipton, let's have a look. Oh, another historic bridge, it's Brayton Bridge. Brayton, and you got parking there, look. Very nice. Nice moorings here. Uh, I'm gonna crack on. It's not near a road or anything, so very pleasant area. Very nice cruise. Nice. Looks like there's very pleasant moorings all the way down here. The great towpaths. It's lovely. Look at it, isn't it? Nice place to moor up. I'm gonna go a bit further on. We've got home base there. Look, we've got. It's like a McDonald's. Mm, I use McDonald's. But I do need a shop. I do need to get some shopping. Sports Direct there as well. Look. Ooh, eh? Civilization. There is a mighty vessel here. How do you get through that bridge down there? Let's come that let's come this way. Up here, and then turn around somewhere. Wow, how do you get that through there? Can't have come the other way, surely. That's a big boat, that is. What's this place here? Looks super bowl. Ooh, bowling. Let's slow down, haven't I? Hey, got a laser zone there, look. Mm, bowling. Ooh. Moorings. That's a boat and a half, that, isn't it? Been blacked. Just been black, Lord, been painted by the looks of it. Beautiful looking thing. Oh, it's still being worked on. Oh, is it brand new? Well, oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely, that. That's a boat, isn't it? Selby Boat Centre. Oh, that's what we're talking about, that's why. Boat blacks, marine camping, caravan, outdoor leisure equipment, chandlery diesel, colour, mooring, spares and repairs. Ooh. Some gorgeous wide beams here, look. Big old massive that thing there, wow. Belchie Road Bridge, we're getting to civilization proper now, so into a town or a so Selby is a city or is it a town? I don't know. Well, that is some serious steel there, isn't it? Eh? This 
This is Vivar's industrial estate here. V I V A R S Vivar's. Plenty of moorings, but very noisy, so I'll go further on. Mate! How do you feel about that journey? Did you enjoy it on the river? Or canal? It's like a river, isn't it? Sorry, canal, not a river. My apologies. Did you enjoy it? You did. Lovely.